Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Makeup Mondays. So in today's Makeup Monday, we're going to be creating a very playful, fun look with a beautiful Milat. And this is the look I created. So it's just a yellow and pink corally look. And yeah, let's get started. So this is Milat's before, stunning. And I'm going to start with her brows. Um, she has really, really nice brows. I didn't really have to do much to her brows. I literally started off by um, using a bit of concealer on, underneath her brows. I didn't put any products on her brows. Um, and then after concealing, I went over the top of it with a little bit of eyebrow, eyebrow pencil. I really didn't have to. But just to give it a tiny bit of shape, like it really had shape. Her eyebrows were amazing. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so now eyebrows are done, I'm going to use that same concealer I used on her brows. I'm going to pack it all over her lid and I'm going to blend it out with my big shader brush. This brush is by MAC. I'll leave all the products and all the tools I, I use in this video in the description box if you'd like to know. I'm now setting that concealer with a bit of Laura Mercier powder just so when we use um, our eyeshadows we're about to use it blends really really nice. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is from an Urban Decay palette like I said all the products will be below and it's just like a corally pink shade and I'm going to use this on the bridge of her eye. Um, I'm going to take this quite high up but she has a lot of lid space which is amazing um, and I'm just basically building that up until I get to the, to the desired look that I want. Once that's done, I'm going to pack on the same concealer I use on her brows and on her lids and I'm just going to use this as a base for the um, yellow eyeshadow that I'm about to use. This is actually a pigment from the MAC Playland collection, this was quite a few years ago but I really like it, it's just a vibrant yellow, vibrant yellow. you can use any yellow that you have, um, you can even use MAC Chrome Yellow. So I'm packing that on with my big shader brush. Now I'm going to blend out the edges of both eyes with nothing on my brush. I'm just going to infuse both colours together. Now Mila has really really nice long eyelashes. I love her lashes. So I'm just putting a bit of mascara just so when I put the falsies on it blends in seamlessly with her natural lashes. And for falsies I really can't remember what I used but I'll leave it below. I'm then going to clean off any excess glue and then once that's done we can start with her skin. So I'm going to start off by colour correcting with an orange concealer. This is just going to hide any darkness and any pigmentation that she has um, from showing on top of her foundation. And then I'm going to set that with a translucent powder. Then I'm going to use MAC strobe cream. This is the original strobe cream so no colour to it. Um, and this is going to give her the glow underneath her foundation. And I'm going to go over the top of that with my natural radiance primer in natural yellow for some more extra glow. Now we're going to use her NARS foundation. This, this is a little bit dark for her but it does blend in after we bronze up her skin. So I'm going to put that all over her face with a brush and I did go over it with a beauty blender as well. Um, and then I'm going to start highlighting with a I was going to say Laura Mercier <laughs> with an LA Girl um, Pro Concealer and I'm going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. And you want to work fast and blend this in as quickly as possible because it does dry quite quickly. So I'm just using buffing motions to blend that in. So you want to make sure you set everything that you use as um, a liquid product with a powder. And I'm using the Laura Mercier powder to do this. And I'm reverse contouring with this powder. Um, this is just to give you a very sharp extra contoured like razor look and I'm going to buff this out with a bronzer um, and I'm using buffing motions to do this so just up and down up and down and blending in seamlessly then we kind of hit a disaster at this point <laughs> at this point I'm not gonna lie so basically what happened was we we're trying to I was trying to you know use the magenta pink from the Playland um, pigment collection 
whatever it's called um, underneath her lash line and it was sitting but it wasn't blending so I was pressing it in at this point and then when I went to blend it it was just coming off and Milat's eyes are really sensitive and they were getting really watery so we kind of had a little mini disaster but um we managed to fix it so going back to skin I'm using my NARS orgasm blusher on her cheeks and then I'm gonna go over the top of that with an um, with a highlighter this is the makeup our addiction in the shade icy so in an attempt to fix the mishap we had earlier I'm gonna use my Juvia's place palette taking the bright pink from that palette and placing that under her eyes and then smudging it out with a pencil brush. This kind of worked. <laughs> now I'm going to dust off the excess. I was going to say excess, well, <laughs> the excess. And I'm going to move back on to her eyes. I'm tight lining with the Inglot liner and a 210 brush from MAC. And I also put that liner on her bottom lash line as well. So for lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics um, liner. This is True Brown K. I'm then going to use a lipstick that's very close to her skin tone over the top of that and I'm, gonna, and then I'm going to get her concealer and tap that in the middle. Then I'm going to use a gloss to infuse all those colours together. Moving on to her body glow, I'm using the NARS Manoi body oil to do this and I'm just buffing that into her skin. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with the highlighter I use on her face, just on the high points of her body, so her, the tops of her shoulders um, and on her, um, what do you call it, the bone, the collarbone, <laughs> on her collarbone as well. We take setting sprays very seriously over here so I'm using the MAC gold light setting spray on the outside of her face and a little bit in the middle because like I said this does come out quite golden on the skin then I'm gonna go over the top of that with my Too Faced setting spray it's really really good for actually locking in your makeup so I'm gonna blend that out and I'm gonna use a mascara on her bottom lash line she has amazing natural lashes on the top and the bottom so I really didn't need to do much but that's what I'm doing here and once that's done everything is completed and this is the final look she's so gorgeous and I just love how this turned out very colorful but still quite nice and like just simple at the same time her dimples are to die thank you guys for watching let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next makeup Mondays